So this video is going to be a bit of a journey. So get a drink, get a snack, get cozy. I'll wait. So let me take you very quickly through the birth of this video. This was going to be a review of dash cam. And once again, I learned the hard way to look up the movies that I intend to review before I watch them. I went back to my old ways and I just knew that it was a movie released by the same director who directed Host. So I was excited to watch it. I liked Host. I was excited about this one. I thought it would be a creepy, fun time. And then I watched it. And then I got to the end. And <laughs> it was full of shaky cam moments. Just felt like it was trying to be edgy just to get a rise out of people and to get people talking about it. I mean, clearly it worked. But after the movie finished, I was questioning whether I wanted to dedicate a whole video to this movie review like I had originally planned. Because at the time I was thinking the video was gonna end up being pretty ranty. And now that I'm almost a mature, got her shit together, 30 year old, I'm just not interested in doing the ranty videos anymore. It's a bad business decision given my rant videos are some of the most popular videos on my channel to this day. <laughs> And that doesn't mean I'm not gonna discuss movies I dislike when it goes so far as to me ending up ranting about a movie. <laughs> they just all sound the same. <laughs> so short story long, I thought I would make a video instead about my favorite found footage horror movies. And I figured surely I had done that video already in almost eight years of doing YouTube, but a quick search on my YouTube channel <laughs> reminded me that my younger, cringier self thought I had to be quirky and unique. I made many videos about how I didn't like the found footage genre and I had to walk that statement back several times every time I watched a found footage movie that I liked. And I leave these videos up for everyone to see. The fact that there are 10,000 of you is truly astounding. All of that was an entirely unnecessarily long way of saying, here's a video of my favorite found footage horror movies. Hey there, creepy peeps. My name is Nightmare Maven and I love talking about horror, including found footage. If you're new here, don't watch my older videos. Just subscribe, become a creepy peep today. If you're still here after that obnoxious intro, I love you. But hopefully that kind of explains my thoughts on dash cam just a little bit. You can talk about it in more detail during my June letterbox wrap up stream. So I may not have liked dash cam, but I sure as shit love these found footage horror movies in no particular order. So let's begin with Unfriended. I wanted to mention this one first because a lot of discourse around the movie dash cam is about how not every protagonist has to be likable. Don't get me wrong, I completely understand why people prefer to have likable characters, but it is fun sometimes to watch like shitty people just get what they have coming to them. <laughs> and Unfriended has an entire cast of unlikable assholes. <laughs> I still go back and watch that movie regularly. <laughs> At the time when this movie was coming out, I remember it being such a unique concept, this idea of having like a found footage movie taking place on a laptop screen over a Skype call. As a millennial, I feel like this movie was very much targeted towards <laughs> <laughs> me and people like me. But the concept works really well for the movie and it's so much fun to watch it on a laptop in a dark room. <laughs> it's, it's really effective. In terms of the general movie watching public, this is definitely not the highest rated one on my list, but I love it. It's kind of like candy, like it's, <laughs> it's horrible for you, but I still gobble that shit up anyway. Next on my list is Paranormal Activity. If I were ranking these, this would definitely be in the number two spot. I have told this story a few times now, but I saw this movie in theaters back when I was in high school and it scared the shit out of me. After that, my best friend wouldn't let me drag her to any other horror movies. And that still applies to this day. She still won't. <laughs> 
go with me to go see a horror movie. I don't really blame her. Still, to this day, I refuse to watch this movie when I'm alone in the house or right before bed. <laughs> it does have some of your typical found footage cliches, like the character that becomes obsessed with documenting everything and that's how they conveniently explain getting a full movie of found footage. But the story and the scares are so well done that I can overlook that in this case. Oren Pelly really said less is more y'all. Things that go bump in the night is a pretty universal fear and my overactive imagination runs wild with the minimalist approach to our demon that's haunting Katie throughout the movie. The series does drop off quickly for me after the first one and I haven't seen the most recent one. I don't really plan to, but I do very much love the first paranormal activity movie. Next is Creep. And Creep is another one that I adore because it is so incredibly unsettling. As someone who works in retail and somebody that lives in Florida, I've encountered many a crazy person in my time. <laughs> That's what makes Joseph so scary to me. Increasingly bizarre behavior just gets under my skin. I also like that the movie goes beyond what I thought. Just reading the quick description of the movie on Google, I would assume this movie is meant to take place over a single night, which is a, a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times the shtick for a found footage movie. The fact that Joseph continues to terrorize Aaron after he's quote unquote got away uh, makes it all the more creepy because there's no getting away from this guy. <laughs> and that ending. <laughs> I'll, I'll spare you if there's anybody out there that still hasn't seen it and you want to. It was so effective, especially with the lack of music, and that's something that I think the found footage genre does really, really well. The movie is done well. You can see just how scary things can be without the kind of like cue of the music to tell you something scary is happening. <laughs> right now I have to talk about As Above, So Below because I have such a soft spot for this movie. I, I literally have no idea. Well, I mean, I guess I do kind of have an idea because I'm going to explain to you why that was a dumb thing to say. I, I, I find the characters really endearing and I love the historical aspect to the movie, setting it in the catacombs of Paris. Um, the idea of going through literal hell I think is really unique and creepy and I love the adventure aspect to it. There's kind of a Da Vinci Code kind of thread running through it. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just love it. I make a lot and I mean a lot of jokes about how I'm going to hell when I die, like I forgot a whole suite ready for me, yada yada yada. But when I think of hell as it's depicted in this movie, fuck no, no thank you. I'll be good, I promise. It's creepy, it's claustrophobic, it more or less handles the like why don't they drop the camera and run moment with the majority of cameras being strapped to our characters. It's such an easy way to tackle that problem. <laughs> And I normally hate the running from something shaky cam, can't really see anything moments. But I give this movie a pass because during said running around shaky cam scene, uh, the character Scarlet slaps the shit out of some demon while running through the tunnels and it gets me every time. It's, I think it's unintentional, but it's hilarious. <laughs> Speaking of strapping cameras to characters, Nice segue, Vic. Gongium Haunted Asylum employs the same tactic. Again, so effective. I don't know why more found footage movies don't try this. <laughs> I love the premise for the movie as well. The whole reason this group is going to this haunted asylum is because they host a live internet show about exploring haunted places. It's streamed to an audience live. I love that idea. And it kind of makes the you better keep filming character make a little bit more sense. I don't think as many people have seen this movie. I could be wrong. I just, I feel like I never really hear anybody talking about it. So I won't get into any more plot details just in case. But honestly, I <laughs> recommend this one so highly. And the last one on my list really needs no introduction. It's the Blair Witch Project. A cornerstone of not only the found footage genre, but the horror genre in general, I think. One thing I do love about talking about found footage movies, I like that there's kind of a clear division in 
fans of found footage. There's the people that, that prefer the less is more route and other people that prefer to see everything. I fall firmly into the former. <laughs> the Blair Witch Project is a perfect example of less is more and that's part of the reason why I love it so much. The opening of the movie gives you just enough mind fuel to get you going and then they just have a series of scary scenes being utterly lost in the woods, some creepy sounds, and boom, my brain does the rest. <laughs> it feels so real in the way the movie looks. There's just something about analog that just makes it feel more real. And the ending, gods do I love that ending. I really have no idea how old I was when I first saw The Blair Witch Project. I can probably tell you it was way too young to be watching that movie. That ending sequence is burned into my retinas forever. At the time, it was the scariest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I was not okay for a while afterwards. I had nightmares about that last shot. <laughs> and if this were a ranked list, I don't think it's any surprise that Blair Witch Project would be number one for me. So there you have it. Those are my favorite found footage horror movies and a little bit kind of of a very short review of dash cam i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here become a creepy peep today i post two new videos every week i do collabs live streams the whole shebang <laughs> so i'll see you monday with a new video until then stay strange bye